Hey guys, today's video, or this morning's video, we're going to play around a little bit with my 959. Now I did one uh, last week for gate, Mr. Gatekeeper Repair, and I didn't have any of the 520s in stock to replace the final that was blown up in it, but I had a whole pack of these guys, which are a final that uh, a lot of the guys on the internet have talked about. Um the 13 in Q, uh, blah, 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 whatever. But uh, a lot of guys uh, really like these finals. They've been putting them in 29s and this and that. And I've tried them in a 29. They just get too hot for me in a 29. Um, they apparently don't like my biasing circuit. So this is the final I use. So, um, you know, now from what I understand, you can uh, set the, bi uh, the gate voltage on this from 13.5 to 13.8. And this guy here can be set anywhere from, uh, I'm sorry, I said 13, it's not 13, it's 3. It's 3.5 to 3.8. And this guy here is anywhere from 3.5 to 4.01. And of course, what's in the radio is the stock uh, 520. So I'm just going to change out the final. I'm not going to mess with the driver or none of that. I'm just going to change out, set the gate voltage, and we're going to roll with it. So here's the preliminary test. And this is about what everybody would run. I've got a 50 watt slug in here. And right now it's about a 2 watt dead key, which is pretty much the standard norm for what you would run into your amplifier. Oh, yeah, on, 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 on. So right there almost at the 12. But see, here's where this radio really falls down on its butt. Let me see if I can get it to adjust. Oh, 1 watt, okay. Oh, yeah, on, 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 on. So, eight and a half, nine. So, that's where we're going to do our test at is that one and that two watt. And we're going to leave it there. Now, just for general purposes, I'll show PEP. And it doesn't matter where I put the dead key for PEP, it's always going to pretty much do the same. Oh, yeah. So, we got about 40 there. And let's look at the RMS peak. Uh, we're on the 50 watt scale, so that's going to be the top. Oh, yeah. So, just a little over 25. So, that's our MSP. We'll be back after we change these guys out and see what we get. This is going to be interesting. Bye for now. Hey guys, we're back on the 959. I've got the uh, 13 in uh, whatever in there. And... Um, I've set the uh, gate voltage, uh, and then what I did is I scoped it and uh, redid the uh, voltage um, per what the scope was showing me for basically the highest gain. And uh, what's real funny is, is pretty much the highest gain is right at 3.5 uh, of a volt. So, uh, yeah, you can't beat that. I mean, I know I've heard guys saying 3.8, but I got it at right at about 3.5, man, and it's, uh, it's smoking, man, ain't no doubt. So let's get on with the uh, with the show here real fast. Bird. Got our two watts. Oh, yeah. So about 14 and a half. Not bad at all. Let me see if I can uh, do this with one hand and get this thing dialed in at one watt. See if there was any improvement because we all know how these exports are. You know, the lower the wattage is, the, uh, they just don't seem to make the, uh, the output power. And I'm going to dig into that a little bit and see what we can figure out. Oh, uh, yeah. So that's an improvement there, man, no doubt. Um, okay, here's peak side, bird RMS peak. I'm sorry, bird peak, PEP. Oh, uh, yeah. So it looks like about 46. RMS peak. Oh, uh, yeah. Just a hair above 30, maybe 31. So definitely, yes, it is an improvement, man. And that's just a single final. I didn't put that driver in there. That came in their factory. So I don't want to hear nothing about it. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, that's final number one. We'll be back. Hey, guys. Uh, one more final to test. Uh, I didn't throw this one in at the beginning, but it's the ERF 2030. I happen to have one here. Um, so I figured I'd just uh, give it a shot and... Uh, uh, see what we get, no doubt. Um, but uh, it didn't look too bad either, man. It looks like that uh, 
almost like that uh, 13 in Q. The 13 in Q, though, I'm getting a little bit more peak out of. And this is what we got right now. Right about the one watt dead key. Oh, yeah. So it looks about 12 bird. And let's see if we can't get this thing adjusted to the two. Right there at the two. Oh, yeah. So it looks like about the 15. Not too shabby. Now let's look at the peak. Oh, yeah. 41.42. No RMS peak. Oh, yeah. Just a hair below the 30. One thing I will tell you about the 20, 30, is it seems to get a little warm. So uh, that's just something to go by. Off to the next. We'll be back. Hey guys, back with the last final in here, which is a uh, final I use in my 29s. And this just goes to show you how uh, <laughs> circuits work, man. Uh, very strange. This is a really good final when I put them in the 29s. It doesn't get hot or any of that. And, um, hmm. Uh, kind of interesting here, but uh, let's get on with the show, man. What we're here to do, okay? Still on the 50 watt slug, right there at our two watt dead key. Oh, yeah, hello, 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 hello. So 12 and a half. And uh, I mean, you can see the drop, there's no sense of me going to the one watt because it's uh, going to drop there too. And here's PEP. Oh, yeah. So about 32 in RMS. Oh yeah. 24. Pretty wild. I guess y'all can uh, pretty much figure out which final I'm going with. <laughs> and I did use the scope on all these. I just didn't show it in the video. That just takes up more time. But uh, every single one of them scoped out great. That's how I set the gates. Um, I mean, I did go back and check them with the multimeter. Um, and, uh, you know, pretty much what I said originally in the videos, you know, uh, 3.5, you know, 4 point volt, you know. So, uh, and I used the scope to set all those for, uh, you know, best harmonic content on the scope. Or modulation pattern or however you want to say it. I mean, some guys have technical terms for it. I don't. I just look for the best signal I see on that scope, and I roll with it. But uh, there you go, fellas. little interesting bit there. You know, that's the uh, factory uh, 520 uh, against the uh, 13 NQ and uh, against my final that I use in the 29s. Hope you all enjoy. Stigman at the No Name CB shop, and we're gone. If this is something that you have that you'd like to have done, give us a shout. We'll help you out. We'll change out the finals on your radio, no problem. We'll get you a couple more. Bang for the buck, no doubt. We're gone. We'll see you. Bye-bye.